Ladies and gentlemen, today we will try to uh, change the uh, G-Shock. It is probably um, GA-2110ET and we're going to change the uh, buckle, which is this part. It comes by itself, the whole thing, all together, this one plus this pin. They don't even call it a pen, and it comes together. Uh, the issue here, the pen, the pen was uh, broken. By the way, it's not called a pen, but this is what I will call it for today. Uh, this part called uh, keeper, and these two called uh, straps or uh, bracelet. We have uh, another one here, another G-Shock that it's completely worn out. I mean, these straps are off, but the buckle seems to be fine um, the battery is already like off uh, normally it's better to change the battery by yourself I uh, will leave a link for uh, one guy who uh, replaced the same uh, model which is um, G-7900A so let's start with uh, most likely it's better to have a proper tool, like a watch tool. I mean, you can do all of these kind of things uh, with uh, with what with a, a watch uh, fixer or maker. However, the cost is um, you know it's gonna be like twenty five bucks uh, for the um, for the battery. So what I'm gonna do now is to probably get this kind of uh, Chinese. Uh, uh, tool um, and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put it in here so small screw and then I'm going to uh, uh, apply some pressure on the small pen here okay so you might not be able to see this but I will try my best Okay, I'll try another pressure from the other end. Nothing is happening at the moment, but I will keep doing that. I might, I might even like uh, try to uh, pause the video to give it more uh, pressure in a proper way. So, uh, after uh, not being able to use uh, this one, as or this one, there is another video uh, showed another way, which is uh, applying the pressure inward. So using a long nose um, plier. So this is this is called a long nose plier. Just gonna put these two inside. Okay, and then we go into uh, force gently the uh, the buckle. Gently. I'm afraid that I'm just keeping saying saying gently and gently, and then we can hear the pop up going out. So oh, it seems that it has been broken, but it was not broken. So what happened is, it, so I have to apply. So you can see now the. V1 is already out, yeah. So now we suppose to simply we're going to try easily to uh, drag it out. So simply drag it out, and the pin inside is gonna fall down eventually. Turn this out. This is the broken piece. I mean, can you just imagine like this one is broken? Really, like you can just make it like out of metal. But Man, you shock what happened to you, Japan? Come on, come on. Okay. Uh well so so next probably we're gonna go to the other one. I might really use the the other one, the this technique is much really good technique, which is the long long uh, plier uh uh long nose plier. Why? Because really you just uh, make things much easier and this is probably metal. So metal should should uh, 
you know. <laughs> oh, oops. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Now, probably I should pause and try to search for. Okay, well, it's it's fine. So, <clears throat> what I might really do, I was thinking to use the uh, same. Um, I'm just trying. I mean, it'll be it'll be good to have a tweezer to just pull out these things. Yeah, so dirty. I mean, like when you buy uh, G-Shock, no one tell you to to uh, fix things. So. So now there should be like they should have like a like kind of a manual how to fix um, your watch. You know how to take care of it, how to do that. They just you just buy a new one. No, no, you you don't buy a new one. Like you know when things broken, you you go and fix it up. You know what I should have done? I should have used the other buckle, the metal one, really, instead of using the uh, the. Uh, you know what? Let me just try to do this kind of thing. Let me try to use instead of using this, I'll use this one to see if it's gonna fit. I don't think it's gonna fit. No, this is. I'll try. I was trying to do this, but it won't fit. It will be like really, really big. It look gonna be ugly as well. So, I'll try to do it the other way around. So, uh, before you apply this, uh, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna probably? Uh, just, yeah. Sorry, I'm just talking. Uh, I I gotta have like a proper setup for the uh, for the what. For the uh, for for the video, but I still don't have it yet. So what we're gonna do? We just probably go into um, take this one out. I mean, I, I believe now you can just do it for yourself. But uh, so just gonna put this one in. You're gonna put this one in, and you're gonna make sure this is also in the middle. Then you're gonna squeeze this one. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Like you know, if you, if you're married, you would not do it. But <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> so uh, this one a bit tricky, but it should be fine. Okay. Hopefully, you can see this clearly. Hopefully. So I know it is the the it does not match fully, uh, but uh, it should be okay. Uh, this is uh, it's a bit now, like fixed. Um, so since I didn't use, I don't know what you call this, but I didn't use this kind of spring, uh, broad, uh, so I'm just going to put it back in here, but probably you're not going to, I'm gonna, not going to show you this because you already know how to do it. Um, might not, I might put this one back, but it's going to be pointless. So I'll, I'll probably just throw it away and, uh, I'll just put it back and, uh, yeah, I, I really urge, uh, uh, Casio G-Shock to, to, to bring some kind of proper videos on how to how to fix your G-Shock watch, would be good. Um, what else? And it's like like you know this kind of new laptop called uh, Framework. Although they don't not they're not sponsoring this video, but uh, Framework laptops you can really change a lot of things, like the keyboard stuff like that. Uh, go go check it out. I'll probably I'm just gonna put a link in the in the video, uh, in the description. And uh, and yeah, so. Uh, so this is this is like useful. I mean, like in this in this era, probably we, we can fix things, you know, instead of just like throw away, like gotta do something with with the environment and that kind of stuff. Although some of you might not uh, believe in the environment or uh, the effect on us, but uh, yeah, I mean, like humans, like uh, have you seen the movie called uh, Don't Look Up, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah, he, he, well, it was good. It was good. It, it, it had a point. So yeah. So um, uh, please uh, like, share, subscribe, comment below, and uh, see you next time. Like whatever we have. Like by the way, this kind of channel is not only on, on for watches; it's just for for multiple things. So uh, just around them, yeah. So yeah, enjoy. Bye bye. That's that's what well, that was. Uh, Mido Hamdani. Take care. Bye bye.